Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome. Thank you so much for coming today to help us celebrate the grand reopening of Thomas Park. We are so excited to see everybody here and excited for this new facility. I need to read the, pro not need, but I want to read the land acknowledgement, the Mankato land acknowledgement before we start our presentation. We acknowledge that we live and thrive in Makato, the traditional homeland of the Dakota Nation and other indigenous peoples. The land we are on holds significance as a cultural and spiritual place for the Dakota peoples and that connects to the vibrant cultures, traditions, and ways of life. We recognize this land was forcibly taken by the U.S. government and acknowledge the deliberate actions of generations that came before us to suppress indigenous people's culture and spiritual heritage. We also recognize the displacement and the exile of the Dakota peoples and the execution of the 38 plus two Dakota men. We honor and respect the ongoing work of the indigenous and non-indigenous people towards reconciliation efforts in Makato, especially the Dakota elder Amos Owens and Makato's residents Bud Lawrence and Jim Buckley Sr. And I also need to mention the tireless work of Dave Braveheart. We remain committed to moving in a spirit of reconciliation and accountability by offering this land acknowledgement and continuing to partner, collaborate, and maintain relations with indigenous communities. Embrace indigenous people's past, present, and future contributions provide space for traditional and contemporary culture activities, review policies that impact indigenous peoples. This land acknowledgement will serve as a document to re be reviewed and updated. And now first I would like to thank the Mankato Area 70, uh, 77 Lancers for their pr presentation today. Can we please give them a round of applause? And also, we can't forget, um, with the concession stands, the Mankato Area Girls Fast Pitch Softball Association for taking care of our concessions, which after the presentation today and the ribbon cutting, uh, please help yourselves to some desperately needed water and some hot dogs and, and refreshments. So please, when we're done, we want you to go make them busy. And of course, we need to thank the community, Mankato Area Public School, and Softball Association for giving us their feedback. As a result, drainage and landscaping improvements were made and there was a better connection to the neighborhood and East High School. What's more, your feedback helped determine how to maintain this longtime community asset while turning it into the state of art softball complex that's right here in Mankato. Without community input, we wouldn't be here today. Having a facility that enhances Mankato's quality of life and recreational opportunities while better meeting the needs of the neighborhood and frequent softball users. Following the program, I invite you to take a self tour of the Man uh, Thomas Park to see the new batting cages, the dugouts, the concession stands, championship field and four field pinwheel and more. They tried to tongue tang me with this one. City staff will be available to answer any questions. Thank you again for joining us today. It is really an honor for you for me to be here and for you. And now I'd like to invite Joe Matson. He's East High School softball coach. Thanks for braving the uh, heat out here, ladies and gentlemen. It's awfully nice. Um, I am Joe Madsen, the softball coach at Mankato East. I've been here for head coach now for 30 years. Uh, the current field you're on right now was our first varsity home field, actually. It was slow pitch, basically cut in field. Uh, no, no, just uh, the chain link dugouts with no tops. Um, and it is a uh, little, little different looking around here right now. Matter of fact, in 1977, I used to ride my bike to. Uh, 11-year-old Little League games that were just when Thomas went up over here. So 
Um, it, it's fun for me, at least for sure, to see the, the changes that have been made here, obviously with softball, uh, such, such a growing sport, such a great game. Um, and, and to see this complex and watch kind of uh, during our, our last season here, I'd like to say we'd have won several more state championships uh, had this come up a little earlier, but uh, I don't know if I'll, I don't know if that'll work since we did get it done before uh, before this was built. But certainly, what a what a great addition to Mankato and obviously the the district and our program as well here. Um, like I mentioned, this championship field we're we're really looking forward to opportunities. Uh, th this field will give you chances to to get out before the maybe the other fields are ready to go. Uh, potentially get some games in that get rained out, which is really a, a big deal. Um, it's just it, it, you look at whether it's just even the the uh, hitting tunnels, which are a, such an upgrade to what we had over here before. Uh, great opportunity. Uh, the fields behind here, where our JV and C teams will host their games during our spring season, uh, by far will be the nicest in the entire Big Nine. Probably in the section, probably even in southern Minnesota that I know of, um, without a question, we'll have that. Uh, th this just the turf field. Um, gives you so many opportunities too and you when you can't get that field ready like I said it, it'll be a, a, a outstanding uh, opportunity our game field which is still kind of in the middle of all this uh, which, which was put up in 2008 or 9 I believe it is uh, it fits in perfectly as well right in the middle of that so great complex and I know they'll talk about that a little bit too with uh, our next presenter here too with the peppers uh, but we're, we're hoping that kids get to play on this they get excited about softball, they continue in softball, or they see it and kind of realize, hey, this would be great opportunities for us to play. Uh, I want to play there, I want to keep playing there. Um, and it, it's, uh, it makes you know, a long time Mankato and Mankato East resident very proud to see this go up. So I appreciate that. Uh, Marty Ray from the Peppers will be the next to come out and talk, so I'll have him come, thank you. Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, my name is John Considine, and I serve as vice president for the Mankato Area Girls Fast Pitch Association. And with me today, President Marty Ray of MAGFA as well. Uh, first, we just want to say uh, several thank yous. Uh, first, to the city of Mankato. We greatly appreciate your partnership in creating a premier softball facility in the state of Minnesota. For those of you that have kids playing softball, yeah, I don't think it would be a very infrequent occasion of with your daughter walking through a complex and another parent stop you and say, you're with the Peppers, you guys are from Mankato. It's well known throughout the state of Minnesota that this is a great softball community. And this complex is helping take it to the, the next level. And so um, as a gesture of our appreciation, uh, Marty today has uh, a Peppers classic t-shirt and we'd like to present that to Mayor uh, Massad. Uh, to show it as an example of the great uh, tournaments and events that we're going to be bringing to this complex. Uh, we want to make sure that we thank Mayor Massad. I think we can give a round of applause. Uh, other thank yous we want to bestow uh, beyond the city of Mankato, um, past board members who worked tirelessly to get this all done. Uh, Pam Kind, former president, uh, John Thompson uh, worked very diligently on this. And we definitely need to recognize uh, the great guys at 24-7, uh, Matt and Mike, who also worked very hard to get this accomplished. So I apologize if I'm leaving out past board members as well, but know that this was accomplished because of you. Marty and I are just up here today uh, with the titles to really show our appreciation. So th I won't keep anybody from their hot dogs or some shade any longer. Uh, thank you all very much for coming out today. <laughs> 